The new Sony Xperia XA Ultra focuses on a few key specs. Ample screen, good design with thin side bezels, and the best selfie camera on the phone. But the rest of the Xperia XA Ultra may well be worth it too, so let's take a look. The Sony Xperia XA Ultra has a metal frame and the front glass is rounded along the edges giving a premium quality look. This combined with the amazingly thin side bezels gives a real boost to the phone's looks. There is no fingerprint reader embedded into the side of the phone, but we get Sony's traditional two-step camera button. The Xperia XA Ultra key feature is its large 6-inch LCD screen. The 1080p resolution is perfectly sharp even at this diagonal. The maximum brightness is quite high and the contrast ratio is good. Viewing angles and outdoor visibility are also very good. The other hardware feature up on the front is the selfie camera. For a front camera it has an unusually high resolution and an unusually large sensor. There is optical image stabilization and a front-facing flash. The Xperia XA Ultra comes with Android 6 Marshmallow software. It has a close visual resemblance to pure Android with a few of Sony's own touches. You also get the full back of Sony multimedia apps, video, music, album and PlayStation. There's also Sony's Xperia themes. Sony has included a one-hand operation mode, which shrinks the entire interface down to the side for easier single-handed navigation. The XA Ultra runs on the Octa-Core MediaTek chipset and has 3GB of RAM. In synthetic tests, the processing power of the chip seems to match that of the Snapdragon 615 chipset. Too bad the competition like the Xiaomi Mi Max and Samsung Galaxy A9 use newer and faster chipsets like the Snapdragon 650 and 652. Graphics performance isn't too hot either. However, the Sony tablet performs without issues in real-world usage, never skipping a beat. Large phones usually have big batteries and enjoy great battery life. Unfortunately, the Sony Xperia XA Ultra has neither. The built-in battery isn't very impressive in capacity and scored a poor endurance rating. Talk time was very good, but both browsing and video playback tests, which use the large display, are underwhelming. Sony has put two very serious camera sensors inside the Xperia XA Ultra. On the back there is a 21 megapixel camera and on the front an optically stabilized 16 megapixel selfie snapper. Both have LED flashes and use large sensors. The main camera is one of the best we've seen from Sony. The large resolution stills are contrasty and have loads of detail. Everything is sharp from edge to edge and there is no sign of softness anywhere in the frame. On the negative, white balance is a bit warmer than it needs to be and there is visible noise even in good light. The 16 megapixel selfies are probably the most detailed we've seen from a phone. There is HDR for the front camera which helps even out the exposure. In really low light, the front facing camera can rely on its LED flash. We recommend using fill light mode which produces an overall better lit image as the normal flash mode is too harsh. The front facing camera has optical stabilization and it does manage to smooth out video. It works nice for vlog type shooting. This use case is also helped by the excellent voice pickup by the onboard mics. Hey guys, I'm testing the front camera of the Xperia X8 Ultra. Video on both cameras is limited to just 1080p, but the footage itself looks great. The main camera doesn't have optical stabilization though. The Xperia XA Ultra has a great screen, great cameras and it's one of the few handsome 6 inches out there, but is reasonable in every other aspect. We were disappointed with the battery life and benchmarks performance and the lack of a fingerprint scanner. But if you're hot for the thin side bezels, best in class selfies and Sony's blend of software and hardware, the Xperia XA Ultra hardly has a worthwhile alternative.